whether your Samsung Galaxy A smartphone is overheating, lagging, or just having a horrible battery life, safe mode is something you should be aware of. This special mode in Android is commonly used as the first troubleshooting step in an attempt to diagnose if the issues stem from third-party applications or not. Android is known for being a very customizable operating system, but in order to achieve that, the applications we install from the Google Play Store have to be able to change the way the core operating system works. For example, if you don't like the look or features offered by your stock home screen launcher, then you can install one of the many custom launchers to replace it. The new app will completely replace your home screen and app drawer, and it has been an integral part of Android for many years now. Being able to change such a core aspect of Android is possible due to how powerful these third-party applications can be. Android gives a lot of leeway to these apps, but in turn, it also gives these apps a lot of responsibility. Responsibility to be optimized for battery life as well as performance while avoiding as many bugs as possible. So when it comes to poor user experience issues, again like overheating, below average battery life, or even overall performance lags, all of these could be caused by a poorly developed application or game. This is compounded by the fact that many people will install hundreds of apps and games on their phones, and it only takes one update from one of these apps to wreak havoc on your device. But the question is, how are you to know if the issue you're experiencing is caused by one of these apps or by the core operating system itself? Because even a bugged over-the-air security update could cause these types of issues with Android as well. And this is where safe mode comes into play for Android. This is available across all Samsung's Galaxy A smartphones, and I'm going to use the Galaxy A13 here to show you how to enable it. To boot the Galaxy A series into safe mode, we first need to bring up the power menu by pressing and holding the power button right there. You can also access this from the menu right here. But the goal is to just get to the power menu where these three options exist. So instead of tapping one of these options, we're going to perform a long press gesture on the power off option. After a second or two, you should see the power menu disappear and be replaced by a prompt asking if you want to reboot the, mo the phone into safe mode. Now if you wanted, we could back out of this menu, but you likely activated this on purpose, so let's go ahead and boot the Galaxy A13 into safe mode. Once activated, you're going to see the phone turn off as it reboots. And this boot up back into Android is going to look like normal. It should take the same amount of time, except when we boot into Android this time, we're going to see a watermark down in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can see we have the model watermark right there. And that's used as a reminder to tell you that your device is currently in safe mode. Now you can also tell the device is in safe mode by all of the grayed out icons 
that you have in your home screen and in your app drawer. So when we boot an Android device into safe mode, it's going to disable every single third party application that you have installed. And we can see, even if we have not manually installed some of these apps, like YouTube Music, Google, Google Drive, and Google Photos were all installed on this device when I activated it, they're not technically pre-installed from the operating system itself, as you can see from the Google app, the Gmail app, YouTube, and Google Maps. So while we are in safe mode, all of the grayed out applications cannot be opened. You can see they have been disabled while you are in safe mode. However, accessing the other apps works perfectly normal. Safe mode is available on the Galaxy A13, the Galaxy A23, the Galaxy A33, the Galaxy A53, and the Galaxy A73 smartphones. And the idea is you want to boot into safe mode to test and see if you experience any of those issues that you were experiencing before. So, say you noticed some overheating issues when using the phone. The goal is to boot into safe mode and see if you experience those same overheating issues while all of these third-party apps have been disabled. And the same can be said if the phone is lagging, if you've noticed that your phone is very laggy lately, it's a good idea to boot into safe mode to see if you're experiencing the same lag as before. And again, it's the same for a poor battery life. If, say for example, last week you noticed that your phone's battery life is much worse than it normally has been, then you're going to want to boot the phone into safe mode and see if the phone is using the battery juice at the same rate that it did before. If you've noticed that booting into safe mode fixes those issues or one of those issues, then that is going to be caused by one of these third-party applications or games that you have installed. You're then going to want to uninstall those one by one until you find out which application or game is causing the issue. Now, if you notice the issue is still happening while your device is in safe mode, then the bug is likely caused by the core Android operating system itself, and you're likely going to need to do a factory data reset in order to resolve those issues. So you can use the phone like you normally would while the phone is in safe mode. However, you just cannot open up these grayed out applications. But we can boot out of safe mode, we can exit safe mode on the Samsung Galaxy A series by simply doing a reboot. Now you are likely going to notice a notification right here telling you that safe mode is on. And if we want, we can tap this notification to force our device to reboot. So that is what safe mode on Android is all about. And it's how we can use this special boot mode on these Galaxy A series smartphones in order to determine if it's one of our many third-party apps that's causing an issue with your device.